Tucker Kellogg is an absolute beast. As the number 29 class of 2023 recruit ranked by NLF, Kellogg uses his ultra fast shot and quick decision making to score at will. When you watch a few seconds of his highlight reel, you'll quickly see that Tucker might have one of the fastest shots of any high schooler out there. He'll be taking his talents to upstate New York where he'll be playing under Gary Gate and the Syracuse men's lacrosse team. And today, I'm going to play Tucker some of his best highlights and get his reactions to them. I'm Jake. You usually see me on Lax Weekly, but today I'm hosting the Lacrosse Network. Let's get into it. So Tucker, you burst onto the scene when you were in middle school when you shot 102 miles an hour. Tell us about how this even happened. So this was actually the first time I got my shot clock. Sixth grade going into seventh, I think. I've never gotten, like, I never had my shot speed clock, like, ever. And I, like, I was the last one to shoot, like, on the qualifying team, like, I, it hit 102 and the, like the guy was like the clock's broken it has to be broken and my dad was like you're not shooting again until the final so I, I didn't shoot again and then I I hit 102 three times in a row after that and they had like three clocks out there as you could see and it, it was crazy yeah what happened after the video went viral this was actually like the craziest experience of my life like I didn't even have a phone at that time like because my parents didn't really give me my first phone until like seventh grade so it was like ah uh, so I had like an iPad in my room and when I got back Back, I had like I had like three or four hundred new followers on Instagram, so it was pretty cool. And how fast do you think you can shoot now? I shoot. Uh, I had 114 like twice or twice or I think three times in a row like uh, last month. So. Do you think you'd ever try to go for the world's fastest shot? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't really like see that as that's not like my biggest like thought in my head. I'd rather score on a goalie than worry about like the record, I guess. So if the sh if my shot keeps getting harder, I mean, I don't know why not, but uh, I'm worried about scoring on goalies okay so now for some lacrosse tell us about the super far out shot that you scored here so this was against brunswick i was a little far away and a little farther than normal people would shoot i just stepped into one and put it in the bottom corner and were you thinking wow this is really far out or did you just let it go i think i just like let it go at this point like i kind of grew up shooting like far away not very close to the net because my shot is so hard so defenses like primarily push out on my hands so i've learned to shoot like from distance so it, it was kind of just like it like get the ball and shoot it what about this shot you had like no angle here ah uh, so this one i just caught it on man up the goalie obviously knew i was going there like after the play you could see that he was mad at it but i just slipped it right between his legs so would your coach get mad if you missed this shot ah uh, they kind of know that if i nine times out of ten i'm i usually hit this so if i if i miss it once i mean they don't really yell at me anymore because they have confidence in this shot so what about this shot you're usually a catch and shoot guy but this is more of a dodge ah uh, so this one that uh, like I think I got a bad pass from like it was like a skip or something over the top and there was really no one open so I just stepped in and shot it and high bouncers will go you know are you always a high bouncer kind of guy no I like to I like to I'm a big higher die guy usually it's usually high to high or low to low but I mean I don't want to tell goalies that now okay what about this dodge this is so hype you make this guy fall over that's got to feel amazing yeah that 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 one was one, one of my favorite plays of the season actually that was like that was in a tight game too there was only like i think there was two minutes left and he was off balance so and i saw that as a blaze so i just pushed him off his ground and then got to where i wanted to go and shot it was everyone super hype after you scored yeah the bench was hype and uh the the players on my team were also they were going crazy that's like that's the best part of scoring is when you go to the sideline or in a huddle and it's just cool like when everyone's congratulating you now are you a big trash talker or no no i, I kind of I, I keep it pretty quiet you got to play classy a little bit and be the bigger man sometimes but sometimes you got to say stuff. It depends on the situation. Okay, so then if you do trash talk, what are you saying? Uh, I mix it up. It's uh, like that. I, I would have said, like, get off me. Or like, this is my house. Like, uh, kind of just show them who's boss a little bit. Now explain this Instagram picture. What's going on here? I, I don't even know. Like, one of my friends took this picture, and it was just like, it was a funny picture, so I had to post it. And what about in this Instagram picture? So this was uh, seventh grade when I was stepping up to eighth grade. So, yeah, yeah. I'm not much of a, I'm not much of a smile. When it's down to business, you know, I, I, I can't really smile. Okay, back to lacrosse. What about this lefty shot? It seems like you're a big righty guy, so you switched it up with the left. Yeah, this was definitely a big changeup. I, I, this was like late in the shot clock. It was like, uh, and 
like the refs used to have to like give you 45 seconds like when you guys when you're holding on to the ball for too long and this was just like late in the shot clock and I got over the pick and the short stick didn't pick me up from like 15 and I shot it with my left and I knew this goalie was a little uh, weaker low so I just left it between his legs and you almost fell over when you shot it it seems like yeah yeah I kind of I had to put I had to put my whole body into it I, I really wanted that one to fall so and this one was a great feed tell us about what you were seeing here so this one like uh, I was clearing the ball like I cleared the ball from the midfield I got it like on a on an overpass and my and my two coaches were yelling like yellow 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 like to settle the ball down and I saw the defenseman's back that the uh the kid cross crease I passed it to like where the defenseman was and he like just cut into that ball and was able to score that now what about this righty rip down the out kind of just like simple like get it to the low corner because the goalie was tall and had a wide stance so it was kind of like slip up between his legs because I was pretty far out so get it there and like hope um, almost like hope it goes in but like not really and when you shoot the ball are you aiming uh i would say like down the alley and like step downs i i don't like really aim i mean i i shoot for a spot more like if i'm in tight with a defenseman i kind of just shoot it like at the net okay tell us about this dodge it's a really nice little face dodge underneath i actually knew so our net on this side of the field's a little like curved uh, like curved in and the pipes a little like this so i knew when i beat this guy that uh i had more room than the goalie actually thought because he stepped out on the pipe so i slipped it right around the pipe on him so it was kind of it was a little cheat that i knew on these nets so now what about this super far shot from the wing ah uh, so i uh, like i'm a big man up guy as we've talked about so the guys laid to my hands because they tried to they tried to pull him like on a string from the top guy and he wasn't able to get to my hands and as you could see the goalie like knew kind of knew i was shooting there before i shot it but i just slip it by him because i have a lot of speed on my shot are you ever nervous to shoot from that far out you gotta have confidence when you're shooting those shots like if you don't have confidence i don't really think they're gonna go in but if you like know you could shoot that like let it fly you know and what advice do you have for young shooters trying to develop their shot get a strong core is definitely a lot of kids don't really shoot as much as i do probably but you gotta shoot a lot to be become good at shooting uh that's a big thing and uh when you're at a young age i would say focus on power like sometimes more than accuracy okay so how many shots do you think you would shoot in a typical day in the off season a daily i probably take like six or seven hundred shots i shoot a lot and my my dad comes out and feeds me usually so i shoot a lot and i work out a lot so i really do in the summer okay give us a reaction to this tucker dordovic between the legs goal this has got to make you hyped as a syracuse commit this this play was just this like i was just watching this like this is uh this is the kind of stuff i do like i'll watch just like 25 times and just go outside and try to do it like yeah are you excited to get to syracuse i mean i don't even know like what to say like when i think about it it's just like crazy that i'm gonna be playing on live tv against against some of these guys and with some of these guys it's just gonna be crazy tell us about this video with greg from east coast dies he's using your string job in a shooting contest it was actually kind of cool because i knew he was stringing the stick i didn't know he was making Making this video i mean when i got the stick it been not enough whip by like just a little bit so i think if he had my stick he would have won that yeah do you and him talk a bunch yeah yeah so he we actually dm back and forth because like i've always like i'm a stick rat like i have like 60 or 70 sticks in my house and i just like uh because i test sticks for like companies and stuff so i always like try to get new things and like learn new techniques because i string too so wow that was incredible if you're a young lacrosse player go back and rewatch this video video 10 times and take as many notes as you can. Tucker gives you so much good advice here. And to me, I thought it was inspirational that one of the country's most elite shooters can shoot 600 shots in a single day in the off season. I'm excited to watch Tucker for the rest of his high school career and into college. And I cannot wait to see where his game takes him. I'm Jake hosting the lacrosse network today, and I will see you next time.